Hello, welcome friends. Thank you for joining today. It's great to see you and have you with us. Today, we're gonna be airbrushing our second t-shirt. Gonna do an anime chick, as I'm sure you saw from the, uh, from the thumbnail. So I thought we'd visit here for just a second. Uh, see if everybody shows up or other people show up and then we'll get started. Uh, I think what we'll do is, uh, I don't think this one will take more than a couple of hours today. So uh, we'll go for about an hour and then we'll visit a little bit and then we'll finish up the shirt and call it a day. And then we'll go play some Starfield. Having fun playing that, we are. All right, uh, let's go ahead and send out our greeting. Um, okay, hold on. <laughs> Okay, I have to actually highlight it before it'll go out. Uh, Dragon Slayer, what's going on, my friend? Good to see you. How are you doing today? Uh, what you been up to, brother? How are you enjoying Starfield so far? I am. I'm enjoying it really good. Oh, uh, man, it's been a long day. I, I originally wanted to get streaming at about 11 o'clock, but... It has taken me all morning to try to get this as good as I've got it right now. So hopefully it's better than episode one. <clears throat> and uh, hopefully as I do the other t-shirts, it'll get even better. It's taken me a little bit of time to uh, adjust the cameras, get them just right. And they're still not very good. I'm watching on my Xbox as well, so I can see that it's still not looking super great. But we're trying. I'm working hard on it, and we'll get it eventually. Easy. Brother, what are you doing? Oh, yeah. How are you today, man? It's good to see you. Uh, we're just kind of bullshitting here a little bit before we get started. Let everybody kind of catch up and get on and everything. I do a... Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, thank you. I love the hearts. The hearts are awesome. Um... Uh, I try to do a five-minute intro, but I know it's not easy in five minutes to just get on and stuff. But I thought we'd kind of visit for a minute and see who all joins, and then we'll get started painting. Uh, so, what you been doing, Easy? What's going on, bud? How's the the uh, Fallout 4 doing? Are, are you playing any Starfield? Or are you just hanging out watching me play Starfield? <laughs> Uh, I know you're still building in Fallout. Oh, that. Uh, once again, your um, Stingwing build. Very, very. It, it takes a. a it, it's not something everybody can do. I built some cool stuff. I did. But this is still in another category uh, that I'm not above me. That's just what it is, dude. Uh, it takes a specific kind of mindset to design objects from other objects and make them look great i know because i've done it a little bit um i was just always i don't know I, I i always thought my builds were mediocre but apparently everybody loves them but yours uh easy are pretty awesome sting wing is a-okay uh, not much. Just got home. I'm watching you play Starfield game. I'm still on PS4. Oh, they don't have it for PS4? That's weird. Hold on a second. Let me see if... Seems like this camera might be slightly out of adjustment... Or out of focus. Let me see. Let me see here. Yeah. Is it on autofocus? We don't want it to be on autofocus. Wow. See, that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Let's see. Is that, let's see if that's going to be better. Um, I didn't... I can't make the settings stay. When I make settings and adjustments and then I do stuff, I go from camera to camera, then they reset and redo stuff over again. So, I don't know. And it looks like, yeah, it looks like I'm about 15 seconds or so behind. <clears throat> All right, I'm seeing myself on TV right now, <laughs> fixing it. So give me a second. Yeah, I know you guys are seeing it too, but you're hearing me. 
Uh, anyways. Come on, Bones, fix it. Oh, look, you can see the back of my shirt and the logo on there. Um, okay, I guess that looks a little better. Yeah, I complain about that. Turn the camera just a little bit. And we don't want to see everything that's in the background. What is that in the background? What are we seeing? Oh, the camera right here. This one. That one right there. The close-up camera. <laughs> oh, shit. Now I got to fix party chat. See, that's what I'm saying. It's just, it's just one thing after another. I can't just keep it good. And then the lighting's kicking my ass, too. And then I got this roommate that just... That guy. <laughs> oh, I don't care about that. <clears throat> yeah, come down here and hang out, motherfucker. We're going to paint your shit. Don't be such a vampire. I don't know how he does it. He, pl he plays his video games and watches TV in the dark. It would kill me to do that. Uh, Brambleberry, what's going on, Mon? How are you, bro? Ah, man. Uh, loving Starfield. Pretty good. It's disappointing to see people already um, exploiting it. This morning I watched a couple of videos and I was like, if that's what it takes to get views and people to come and watch and hang out and stuff, eh, I'm, I'm cool. I'm, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Uh, now, I don't mind trying to figure out, like one guy, he, his was pretty good. Uh, he had it a way where you actually did stuff and you went and got your, um, your resources going and you're making stuff. And then he was making something, some things and then going and selling them. And then, you know, of course, they're all sleeping a day and then hitting the vendor and sleeping a day and hitting the vendor. Nah, let's just play the son of a bitch and have some fun on it. You know, I mean, well, I guess these guys have probably played it for a while. Hence why they're doing it. I, guess, I don't know. Uh, hate videos on the game. Uh, looks, looks okay, too. You know what, dude? It is. It's, it's fun. It's good. There's going to be people that are going to... Dude, there are people that you could shit golden eggs and they would still complain. So... You know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it just matters what, you know, the each individual feels like. So if you're happy with it, I'm happy with it. Everybody's happy with it. Except that guy who hates Saturdays or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying, there's always somebody who's unhappy about something. Unfortunately, in this day and age, uh, everybody's getting their way to make everybody else feel unhappy about whatever they're unhappy about, too. Uh, yeah, always the baby rangers, right? I don't know. It's just there was some videos and, uh, you know, they were, I don't know. They're just, there was some good ones. There was some bad ones. Uh, I watched, uh, two deals, uh, one on freighters, one on, uh, uh, base building and your, uh, your, uh, extractors and stuff. <clears throat> and dude, they are going over content so flipping quick. You know, it's like, and then they're not even prepared. So they go to do something, but they don't even have the resources to do it. Well, if you put this down there and you do that, this is what'll happen. Is, is everybody in that big a rush to put content out, I guess, you know? So even content that is kind of coming out explaining something still is like skipping across the uh, river or something like that. <clears throat> Anyways, all I know is we're going to get in there, we're going to look it over, and we're going to figure it out. And then just like the video I'll make on lockpicking, I will explain it in great detail for the dumbest guy to the smartest guy. So, anyways, that's why I've always approached my videos. I, I pretend or I approach it where I think somebody who's watching my video has uh, no idea about anything about, like in Fallout 4, had any idea about building. That's why almost in every video in the beginning ones, I 
talked a lot about group select, press A, hold it down, you know. No people knew that, but what about that one guy? It's like, group select, group select, how do I do group select? So if you just add it in there, you know, then it fits everybody. And uh, sounds like we need some Bones tutorials. Well, I got to get them figured out first. I don't want to come in like these guys are coming in all and uh, now I'm not saying they don't know what they're talking about. I'm just saying that, you know, like with the ship building, how to even got onto the menu to choose the deals. I couldn't figure it out or I didn't have enough time to. And even the guy I was watching never touched on that. He's just in the menu where he can scroll across through the different stuff. <clears throat> so... You know, we'll get in there. We'll, we'll uh, probably we'll try to go steal a ship, and then we'll take it in there and tear it apart and see what how, how bad we can mess it up. <laughs> That's the thing to do: go in there and find out what makes the game go. Oh, oh, you got me, Bones. <laughs> uh, there's a whole slew of people that had Starfield for two weeks early. Uh, uh, yep, now they're. Trying to be that person that says first in YouTube. Yeah, I don't care about first. Some of the stuff I talked about was talked about by somebody else way before I talked about it. Uh, I'm sure there's probably a thing or two I discovered before somebody else, but who gives a fuck? Did they, that, uh, excuse my language. I mean, you know, did I get like a million bucks for it? Or I mean, did I get? No. So really, who cares? You know, I never cared. Never cared who figured out what, who did what. Yeah, so. <laughs> uh, I, just, I just wanted to make tutorials. Okay, this is what I, happens to me. <clears throat> I'm learning something. Let's say, like, let's say my, uh, my drawing tablet for animation. I want to so go look up some animation videos on YouTube. They talk about everything but the thing I'm trying to figure out. And, and even ones that I find that are working up doing the same thing I'm doing happen to just skip over that part that I'm trying to do. And it's like, how did they get there? How did they get to that screen? How? So that's why I wanted to make videos that, you know, it might make people who know a bunch about whatever the subject is like, oh my God, is this guy ever going to get to the point? But what about that guy who's new or not that well versed in it, who's needing that information, you know? So that's, I don't know, you, you like my stuff or you don't. I like making it, so. <laughs> uh, okay, change topic. Show us the dragon t-shirt. Oh, I got to go upstairs for that. Um, let's put it this way. I'm not super happy with it. So let's put that one under the bridge. What we might do is we might come back and we, I, I'm actually was enjoy, uh, I'm actually enjoying the idea of it. So I was thinking that we might do it on a canvas or something, and then we can really get crazy on the detail and stuff and actually make it look like stone in the whole nine yards. Uh, yeah, when I showed it to my roommate, he's like, oh, it's not finished, huh? And I'm like, yes, it's finished. <laughs> he's like, oh, okay. It, I don't know. I, I think there's a combination of a couple of things. First of all, I haven't airbrushed in a while. Second of all, I got all this equipment around me, and it's hard to get comfortable. Second of all, I've been airbrushing on my feet my entire life. I've always stood when I painted with the exception if I'm uh, doing mural work on the side of a car or something, then I'm down on a ground or down on a stool or something like that. But it still limits me to what I can do. When you're standing, you're free to move around and you can just, you know, come in and out and you can use your body. When you're sitting down, you're a little bit more like stuck. So you're moving around less and it's a little harder. So you're more handsy and more armsy. And with everything here, I'm bumping into stuff. And then my cameras weren't working good and stuff. And so anyways, hopefully everything will dial in. If it not, I guess this is what it'll all look like. <laughs> so anyways, uh, sorry, Bramble. No, I'm not going to show you the dragon. <laughs> but we'll make something. 
And this one's going to be cool. Wait till you guys see this one. So let's go ahead. So we, I think we've talked long enough. We're into it a half, 20 minutes here. Uh, let's go ahead and switch on over to the other camera. Uh, I put up a canvas in the back so it wasn't distracting with all the crap that I got back there. Um, this is our... Uh, tell you what, let's do this. Let's go to this camera. Uh, see if we can get a close-up here of it. So what I did is I use an opaque projector. Uh, I sketched the design out. Okay, go ahead and back this one up a little bit and get it kind of ready for when we're ready for it. Uh, I use an opaque projector. Um, for those of you who don't know what that is, that's basically um, it shines the image onto a mirror that reflects it through a lens and you can see the design on the uh, t-shirt and i can uh, focus it and enlarge it by moving it back and forth and stuff but that allows me to get my design in proportion on the t-shirt uh, i could sketch it on there but imagine all the pencil lines that would be everywhere on there so this helps keep it nice and clean and tight so uh, I have all my colors already pre-mixed. We're going to be using uh, black, white, blue. Um, I have a, and I know you guys on, on uh, camera or at home can't really see this color. Oh, and it's kind of, hold on, maybe my, maybe the camera's, no, it doesn't look like it is. Okay, whatever. It's kind of washing out there a little bit. My bad but you can kind of see it a little bit. Um, I call it portrait pink, but it's a neutral skin color that I like to make. Um, I use white, of course, and then I use, uh, well, depending upon how much I'm making, which I make quite a bit usually when I mix it, because it's my standard uh, skin color for every skin color. It's the base that I start with. Um, but I use white. I use a few drops, five or six of hot pink, which I guess I could show you guys these colors. Uh, I use a couple of colors of hot pink, or a couple of three or four drops of hot pink. I usually do two or three drops of a nice bright yellow. And then I might do one or two drops of a brown. And I usually try to use something kind of light in color. And this one's a transparent. So this doesn't like over, um, uh, oversaturate or whatever the pigment because it's a transparent color. So it makes, uh, I'll tell you what, this, this is probably the co closest color to the color that I'm talking about is peach. But it's not so pink. It's more on the like uh, ocean sand brown kind of color. So we got that, and then we're gonna do stuff kind of in a purple, and and uh, your pants kind of in a purple, the guitar in a purple. Uh, I think we'll give her a dark. Uh, I got that dark gray. It's my uh, <clears throat> that dark gray we used on the dragon. It, I know you can't see it in there, but. It's, uh, I, I really like this color because it's dark, but it's not black. <clears throat> so that'll be nice for that. Okay, I guess let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, use this portrait pink that I've got. And I'm going to just go ahead and do all of her body parts. Uh, so all the places that um, she's going to have just bare skin. Also, it'll give me a chance to kind of knock these lines off a little bit. Okay, let's switch over to this camera.
All right, nice. Now what I'm doing is I'm just kind of going around and I'm getting myself some, um, you know, like, uh, kind of like uh, outside lines and stuff, because we're going to try to shade a little bit. We're going to have a light source, and the light source is going to be coming from this direction down on her, but we're going to have another light source coming up this way as well. So we're just trying to kind of get her lined out here a little bit. We'll have a little bit of a arm right there. Um, this is going to be her breast right there and her breast right there. So we'll um, tell you what, we could probably go ahead and do this. Okay, right, there we go. And I think we'll do just a little bit of her shirt. I got that line right there way too high. Um, let's do... Trying to decide where her damn uh, neck is going to go here. I'll tell you what, let's do the side of her face. And her chin, let's do that. Now that gives us a good idea where her neck needs to be. And then we'll do just a little bit of her shoulder right there. So uh, that gives us just a little bit of a hint on the other side. This one here... Uh, should have been more like this right there. So we'll try to bring that in there just a little bit. And we'll do just a little bit of detail. I mean, just to give us an idea where some detail is going to go. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and... Hey, what? Let's go ahead and work on the hand up here just a little bit. Let's try and get that outlined out. Move this up so we can see it just a little bit. All right. That down like that. Okay, good. Now, this is some kind of a little thing that she's wearing around her arm. So let's go ahead and kind of line it out just a little bit. Okay, we won't do too much detail there. All right. Uh, I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's do her nose and her eyes. And 
And then... Do an eye over there for... All right, that looks great. Okay, let's move this down just a little bit. Okay, we'll do just a little bit of her hair. That way we can kinda And we'll do a little chunk of hair kind of flying out right there. We'll do a little hair right here. And let's see, let's make it kind of curve and curl around. Be something like that. And good, I think that'll work. Uh, since we're kind of doing this, let's go ahead and just semi-line out the hair. The hair is going to be a brownish yellow anyways, a real light brown, real light yellow. So white up in all of this isn't going to hurt one bit. Um, let's go ahead and throw us in a ponytail kind of thing here, I guess. And let's do a little flip over. Okay, I think that looks pretty good right there, like that. And we'll just put a couple of lines in so we know which way we want the hair to run. Okay, perfect. Uh, tell you what, since it's working out so good with the uh, white, let's just go ahead and do our guitar strap. Let's see, right here. Okay, there's our guitar strap to her top. We'll put a little split in it. We'll call this, we'll make this skin right here. We'll just kind of paint that in since that's going to be skin already. 
Okay. Um, I, I guess what we could do now is let's come over here and work on this part of the hair. All right. All right, paint's struggling to come out of the brush a little bit, so we'll just kind of flush it around and work with it a little. Oh yeah, that's really... All right, give me one second. It might need to be, uh, get a little bit of, might be just a little bit thick still. Yeah, it looks like it might be. Let's give it a little, give it a drink of water. Uh, now, the kind of water I use is not just ordinary tap water. I actually get purified and distilled. Distilled is the best. I'm, I'm not trying, oh, I guess you're over here. <laughs> I'm not trying to like you know hit you up on any brand or anything. I just get uh, I just get distilled or um, uh, purified water. Uh, the reason is is because regular tap water has a lot of um, minerals and stuff in it, and uh, you, uh, you you I don't know you kind of kind of see where I'm going when I said minerals and stuff in it, right? But, uh, yeah, I just use them because they, you get a little bit better pure water. and Plus, it really actually helps keep your paint. Uh, I can keep paint for quite a while if I keep it capped. <clears throat> and every one of, uh, uh, I got these lids that I use that work really good. I can pour them out or take the lid off and airbrush them. So, uh, it works out real good. I used to use tap water back in the day, but then, you know. I, I found out what benefits I got from not using it, and then I quit. All right, let's see if that's more better. Okay, seems like it's better, so let's go back to what? Okay, nice. And then we'll do that one right there. We'll do something like that right there. And maybe right there as well. Okay, perfect. Do a couple of lines here to show where our lines are at. Okay, awesome. Uh, tell you what, let's go on down here a little bit. Let's work on the guitar. And um, I guess that's as far forward as it wants to let me go for whatever reason. I got a cheap piece of crap arm here. <laughs> uh, I will have to get a better one, definitely. Okay, I think we're a little close. Um, it came with a $25 mic that, of course, didn't work out. My, this is my advice to people who are trying to do anything remotely like this. Don't buy crap. Cheap crap. Don't buy cheap crap. Yeah, that's not going to work out for me, airbrushing. Move that. And... All right, what we'll try to do is the uh, guitar here now. So, um, okay, nice. 
And we did it all in one line, too. That's good. That's good. Uh, a way to do this now, uh, you know, there's a there's a bunch of things I did that helped me keep this stable doing this line. Uh, there's a way that you can do it by just doing little smart little uh, short strokes like this. See how I'm darkening? I don't know if you can see me darkening it up there a little bit. So you can just do these. I'm I'm turning it on, turning it off, turning it on, turning it off. And you just do these little short strokes like that, and you can uh, really outline nicely by doing that. Um, it takes a little bit of concentration. It takes a little bit of control, but it's an easy way to make nice lines. If you can't make, you know, trust me, making lines like this is hard. That's why I was talking about earlier, you know, swaying and being able to move and move freely. If you're trying to move straight, you're just going to go up and down. So you just really want to be able to just do it quick, you know. And when you're making lines, you want to try to flow with it and just, you can't do it fast, but you got to have a little bit of control and stuff with it or try to have a little control. Okay, let's go ahead and we're going to do this. This is her pants. Uh, apparently these days it's cool to have your pants coming off. Um, lady at the flea market, she came up, she had her button done and her zipper three quarters of the way and it was all folded out. And I'm like, holy shit, girl, how do you keep your pants on? You know, and so anyways, apparently it's a thing now to, to, Try to have your clothes fall off. Uh, I think we will give her like something right there, though. I think we'll give her a pair of shorts or something. Um, okay, this is going to be the strap for the back, uh, the guitar, but the back part of the strap, like that. And there we go. Okay, we'll do our pants down here some more. Um, let's see, let's do another strap right there um tell you what let's do this strap uh I, I guess it's part of her belt is what it is so we'll come down And we'll just kind of outline the heart. Okay, good. Um, let's see. I want to give her this, like, so I want her to have, like, cargo pants on or something, I guess you could call it. So let's do this here and do that. Okay. And then do that. Now we'll give her a bend in the leg. Uh, we'll make her heel come off right there. Shirt. All right, let's do You know what? I think I'm way down here where you guys can't see. So let's get it down here. There we go. Sorry about that. I got airbrushing and left you guys behind. I'll try to not leave you guys behind. <laughs> Okay, uh, and then we'll do 
Let's see, since that leg's kind of back a little bit, we can't go too much, so let's just go a little bit. And we'll come right up here and go like that. That should do it. Okay, let's go ahead and make this one. And what did I do? Leave you guys behind again. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I got to watch a little better. Okay, here we go. Now we can see it here. Okay, we got a little bit more to do. Now on the um, strings of the guitar, I'm actually going to use some tape when it comes time to do that. So I'm not going to really worry about uh, trying to do the neck too much right now. So uh, let's do this. Let's go ahead and let's outline our outline our deal here a little bit. And then this is where it kind of shines. Comes around like that. Okay, let's uh, go on up to the deck. Can I drop? I'm looking over at the screen, right, to adjust the camera, and I see easy over there. Can I do a skeleton choking Bob Ross? No, Bob Ross is good. <laughs> um, yes. Um, you know, he's just, he was the right guy at the right time. Let's just put it that way. There are probably plenty of other people that might be considered, but not me, considered better painters. Uh, I've seen some people who do some amazing ac acrylics and stuff painting. Uh, yes, I have, but, uh, you know, he just, ha he had that SMR voice and stuff. So I think that really made a difference for him. I guess, I think, I don't know. I'm not going to say nothing. I try to, I try to make my stuff like his stuff. So he presented his work good. It was, you know, it was nice stuff. I have a hard time talking like him because I can't do the, oh, it's fluffy. Clouds and beautiful, simple, happy. This shit ain't happy. This shit's nerve wracking. You. Know? <laughs> um, and then one thing that I am having a hard time with uh, is, you know, being able to talk while I'm actually airbrushing because it does take a degree of concentration. You know, it's not just that you can. Uh, just, you know, I don't know. It takes a degree of concentration, people. Um, my bad. Anyways, I think I needed to come down a little bit lower with that one, like that, right there. Okay, like that. That might be better. Okay, yeah, I'm going to use tape for the neck when it comes time to do all of that. Um, there's going to be a little bit of light coloring there. Uh, I know what we should do. We should maybe go ahead and outline and get her hand, uh, in there and done. So, um, Uh, let's see. Let's do it like that. What do we got there? One. We got one, two, three, and now let's do four. We'll go straight with that, and then we'll go curved, curved with that. Okay. Oh, you know what? Let's put our thumb right here. Let's do a little 
do a little thumb. How's that look? That looks good. Uh, we'll have her finger just kind of off a little bit there. Or uh, these these ones here are close together, but that one over there is like a part, you know. And we'll do her knuckles right there. Okay, let's do another uh, thing on her. What the hell, I just had paint come out of there. Yes, I got my bottle on here incorrect. What the heck? Uh, you get the little breather holes in the wrong space and it'll start spitting paint everywhere. Splattering paint. All right, hold on a second. She's giving me, she's giving me troubles again, Captain. Let's wash it out. See if that might be a chunk of goo goo in there. Alrighty. Seems like it. Okay, well, it's spraying that good. Let's see if it sprays this good now. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, you know, no matter how much you do with your stuff, you're going to get... You're going to get stuff in there. Uh, could be anything. Could be a chunk of crap that was in your gun. It could be something that's in the paint. Uh... Uh, it could be anything. You just never know. All right, let's go ahead and do uh, something on her arm again. Let's make it like this. Do that. Make it kind of like it's a... Oh, no, it's like maybe some kind of hack or something on her arm. And we'll come down and do it like that. And that'll be your elbow. All right, I think what we need to do now is just go around and get all of her skin. Uh, I think we got everything drawn out good enough right now. Uh, there, I might do some more belt stuff down here, I guess, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, but let's go ahead and start filling in her skin. And we definitely want to take our time on this because what we don't want is the rest of the shirt to be all fogged out with, with whatever color we're using. Uh, it happens to be this uh, portrait pink. So we really got to be careful that uh, this is what you what you can expect from airbrushing a t-shirt. When the air goes down and it hits the surface, it disperses sideways like this. And depending upon how you're pointing your, your airbrush will depend on how much air is going that way. Well, now, even though paint is going on the t-shirt, there's still a certain amount of paint in the air. And the more you pull back on the trigger, the more that's in the air that's not just being sprayed. So all these little fibers that are sticking up off the t-shirt like this, catch that, that, and it builds up on the tips of those. And I call that muddying. You're, you're muddying your, your artwork. Uh, when that starts to happen, it just really now will go south on you. Uh, you might still be able to make a nice piece of artwork, but it's going to be, uh, it would have been nicer. Let's just put it that way, if you didn't have that. Also, by doing this, I can create a little bit of um, detail in it by spraying it a little bit heavier in certain spots. 
and a little bit lighter in certain spots and I'm already gaining shadows. So I want shadows here on the knuckles, some across right there. So I'm already picking up some uh, uh, detail work, shadow work. Go ahead and fill this one in. Hey, we already kind of filled this one in, but let's darken it up or brighten it up a little bit. Another thing is too, if let's say you were airbrushing a single color uh, job, just like the one that's in the intro of this uh, stream. By starting on the edge, you can, you know, really give yourself, it's not even a line, just a color, and then you could just fade it off into whatever. And then you could sit there and add in some more details and stuff like that, and just use the background of your stuff as you're, uh, you know, detailed. You're just using one color. So it's a really good uh, thing to, to learn how to take off of a line and work your way out. Another thing is, too, if you have a hard time and you don't want stuff going out where it's clean, tilt your airbrush. Tilting your airbrush a certain way like this will help keep it from getting over on the guitar side. Let's put it, say that. Now, um, I was overdoing it on that one, so this is more probably the correct angle right here. I just was really overdoing it so you could see what I was talking about. Okay, now we'll just go ahead and fill this in. Now, depending upon how fast you do this will depend on how clean your artwork is. If you just start, if you just get impatient and you just start pumping this color on there, you're going to get these puddles where it's heavier and lighter and heavier and it's going to start creating blotches and different things like that so you just really want to lay it down in layers just a little bit at a time you, you don't want to go immediately heavy with it you could even do this let that dry a little bit and come back to it and add some more so you don't have to lay it all down thick and heavy. Uh, what we'll do one of these days is I'll get a t-shirt out and then we'll do a whole bunch of do nots on it. Don't do this. Don't do that. And then you can see what, you know, is um, what happens when you do that. Okay, let's go ahead and move up the camera here a little bit. I can get in here and Get in here and start laying the color down. Um, when, you, when you do stuff like this, it doesn't require stencils. In other words, we don't have to have something down out here to keep our color contained into the center. And when you're doing freehand airbrushing, you don't have, I mean, you can, but then it's not freehand airbrushing but you don't have the luxury of a stencil. So it takes a little bit more time, takes a lot more patience, and you just gotta sit there and just work with it. And like I said, a little bit at a time, little bit at a time. There we go, Seattle. Uh, how's that look on the camera? Okay, that doesn't look too bad. All that right there. And who's calling? It's my mom. Okay, hold on a second, everybody. I'm so sorry. Give me just a second. Hello.
Okay, sorry about that, guys, gals, and uh, animals of all different kinds. I don't know. Um, my folks have been out of town for a while. Uh, as most of you know, uh, my stepbrother passed away at the uh, first of the week, and uh, last week. So they've been out of town. They're almost home. Uh, they're bringing a generator. She's like, I need you to run home and open up the gate. And it's like, well, you guys are going to have to wait. I'm streaming right now. And you're a couple hours away still. So anyways, they're, they're almost here. All right, let's get back to filling in our body color. All right, this is all going to be dark down here. Well, dark and, uh, there we go. So we don't need it to be too bright. And let's go on up to the hand. Yeah, but my folks are needy. They, they, I don't know. Every time I turn around, they're, do this, do that, do this, do that. And it's, it's really kind of, uh, it's really kind of a pain in the butt. But, um, my mom, she sells knives at the flea market. And she'll do a few shows and stuff like that, but. It's mostly, uh, you know, flea markets they do three days or whatever a week. So they pay for their spots in advance. And then, uh, let's see, let's do that. Let's not put too much paint in there because it's going to be dark. So when they go out of town, they don't want to lose out on the money they spent. So they always want me to go and... Do the 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 uh, flea market for them, and you know if it it's not only that; it's a whole bunch of other stuff too. So, uh, I'm I'm sure you guys have heard me complain about it numerous times. Love my folks, but they expect way too much from me. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go ahead and do the. Uh, let's do the, 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 um, let's go ahead and do the face. So let's see if we can jump out the mouth here real quick. Excellent. All right, try to get it in here. Uh, we definitely don't want to muddy up the face. The face is the most important piece when you're doing something. And that's crazy because our next t-shirt we're going to be doing will be nothing but a face. So <laughs> uh, we'll be doing that one on a gray shirt. We're going to do a, um, uh, what would you call it? A uh, Aztec princess. So she'll have all the feathers on and stuff oh you know speaking of that not an aztec princess but man we are missing leroy when's leroy gonna get home leroy we miss you buddy i've been gonna say that a couple of times i keep forgetting to, to mention that uh i think and i could be wrong but he typed in discord that he was in uh china i think is what he said was, was that what he said china uh, Japan or China. And so, Lucky Dog out there cruising the, uh, cruising the continent, being Mr. Uh, Interstellar Man or Inner, I don't know. what I don't know what I want to say there. <laughs> uh, that's awesome that he's out having fun, though. Okay, let's highlight that up a little bit there. A little bit off of the nose, a little heavier. 
Uh, you can probably already kind of see what I mean by applying too much. Now, I didn't do it too quickly. I'm just trying to put quite a bit in these areas because these are going to be highlighted, more lighter areas right here, you know, more, more brighter in them areas right there. So get a, get a little more on there. Now we'll use, we'll use some uh, white when it comes time to get that all to pop, but we're going to put our, sh uh, our shading on first. So I'll tell you what, I think that we're close enough with our uh, skin color to let's go ahead and uh, put on our brown. Um, where did I put it? That's the dude. That's the that's the dude. Um, oh, let's get a drink. That sounds good. Oh, here it is. Here it is. All right, let's see. Let me back this off just a little bit here. We'll get a little wider picture of it. That's looking pretty good already so far. What do you guys think? I think that's looking pretty good. I was hoping this would only take two hours. We're already well into the second hour. Okay, I guess I better quit talking and do more painting. All right, I'm just going to use little bits of brown here and there just to kind of give me some shadowing. A little bit darker on this side. A little bend in the arm right there. Little shadow from the boob. Give a little shadow for the uh, thing that she's wearing. I think it needs to be just a little bit darker. Okay. There we go. Looks good. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, do the hand. Yes. Let's get up here just a little bit. All right. Hey, awesome. All right. We're not even going to put any fingernails on. We're just going to just going to do that.
Okay, excellent. Okay, let's go ahead and go over to this hand. Now let's do do some shading on the knuckles right there. We'll do a little crease there, a little crease there, and there. Okay. Now let's see. Make. Okay, excellent. Okay, now this whole elbow will need to be almost, almost dark all the way. Little bit there. Little bit right there. Okay, excellent. Now, oh, go ahead and bring this back a little bit. Put a little brown right here and work work that up. Okay, excellent. Okay, nice. Now let's go ahead and work on the face. Let's do the face. Okay, hold on. We got a little brown coming out there. Let's get this locked down a little better here. There we go. And let's see here. We need to do... Hey, excellent. Okay. Oh, we almost forgot our little shoulder right here. Let's put a little bit of brown right there. Just a little bit. There we go. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go over this with just a little bit of yellow. Going to go over the whole entire thing with just a little bit of yellow. Uh, the yellow will help bring out, help bring it out. And then also the yellow on the green is kind of hit out a little bit. And you can kind of see it bringing it out there a little bit, a little bit of yellow. Put it on her hand because it's bright right there.
Okay. Now to uh, kind of make the uh, skin finished up here, we'll just add a little bit of our uh, portrait paint that we had. We don't want to spray too much or it'll get us all muddy again, or it'll make it look muddy. But what this will do is soften it up just a little bit. Oh, here, I'll tell you what. Let's go down here where I'm working. You can kind of see what I mean. Just softens it up a little bit. And let's go on up here. Okay. Nice. Go ahead and work on this hand a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and work on the face here a little bit. We want a little bit of bright coming off of the nose and coming down, so we'll do that. We want a little bit under the eye. We'll soften up the cheek just a little bit, right underneath the nose, and we'll even soften up the top of the hair and above the eye. We'll do this cheek and a little bit of the chin. And you can see how much more that just really made that soften up, lighten up a little bit. Let's do a little more right there. There, kind of made a little bit of a line with the brown that I wasn't intending. Oh, you know what? We forgot the top of the hand. Let's do that. Right. We actually are going to need to do a little shadowing darker up here, too. Uh, the brown is not dark enough to make that palm pop. So we'll use some of our darker gray, and we'll use that later on to uh, do some of the deeper shadows. Okay. Um, I think we're good to go on the, um, the, the skin tones and stuff. Uh, I, I think I need a little bit more yellow. So I'm gonna spray just a little bit more yellow. Uh, it just feels like it's could be just a little brighter. So I'm gonna do that. We don't wanna spray too much. Okay, that'll work, that will work. Okay, let's go ahead and start dropping in some uh, detail. Let's do this first. Let's do... Uh, okay, I'll tell you what. Let's do... Um, I think we're done with the brown, so let's go ahead and... We may have to come back to the brown, but I think we're good for right now. So let's go ahead and wash that gun out. I'll tell you what, let's switch over to this camera and get maybe a little better view of it here, what we got going. Uh, she kind of looks like a cat girl or something, doesn't she, on the TV, <laughs> I guess? Kind of a cat girl, I guess. Um, I don't know, I guess it's because of the pointed nose. All right, I would like to use the light purple. I think what we'll do is we'll do her, um, 
her arm pieces and the pants now. So we'll do this here, this one, and her, her brioches. So let's go ahead. I think we're. Do you guys like it better from this camera? Is this camera. Uh, hi, Amber. How are you, baby? How you doing, sweetheart? You've seen me airbrush many shirts. <laughs> You've seen me paint a whole lot of shirts, sister. Um, is it, do you guys like this camera, or do you like this camera? This one here is like the whole thing, uh, where this one's like a little more close up to stuff. I think we'll work with this one. Nobody's talking anyways. <laughs> Okay, um, you know, I think I'm going to do, all right, let's do this. Let's go ahead and put this out, but we'll use the, um, no, you know what? We're not going to do that. We are going to do, we are going to do this one instead. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do the darker, um, Normally, when you're airbrushing, you want to do your lighter colors to your darker colors, especially on a t-shirt. But when you're laying colors over other colors, you get other colors. So when you're doing cars or stuff like that, you know, I don't I wouldn't be restricted to just one. Uh, I wouldn't be restricted to just doing light to dark. I mean, I would be doing light to dark, dark to light back again and so on. So, all right, let's go ahead. Well, what we'll do is we'll outline this. Maybe. Is it spraying? <laughs> is it gonna spray? There we go. I think it's a little bit. Uh, do we want to do that? I think not so much. Let's do a little straighter. I think this might need a little bit of liquid in it. So let me, or a little uh, water. Let me, let me thin that up a little bit. Yeah, it's looking a little thick in there. It's looking a little thick. All right, let's see if that will work. So what's Amber doing today? Doing good. Well, that's good that you're doing good. <laughs> you still haven't told me what you're doing for work. You said you got home from work the other day, and I, I still don't know what you're doing for work. I'm glad you're working. All right. Let's see if maybe that'll spray a little easier. Spray more better. Doesn't feel like it is. <laughs> uh, doesn't feel like it is. Okay, let's get up here and... We got to be way careful spraying dark because dark can definitely muddy your stuff quick or, you know, dark colors.
All right, put a little bit here and then we can come in and shade it with, with a lighter. You can come in and shade it with a lighter purple a little bit. That looks good. Oh, I'm bumping the deal. Sorry about that. Making the camera rock. Okay, let's go ahead and go down here. Let's do her top now. Okay. I got to be careful I don't go through the uh, guitar strap because with a dark color, it'll be hard to cover it up. So uh, let's see. Let's start right here. This is going to be pretty dark. Okay, let's do that. And uh gotta be very careful we don't want to uh, get dark color out there on that light so got to just sit there and just spray it and just have patience just have patience okay I think we need to take and feather that just a little bit a little bit more Okay, excellent. All right, uh, this one goes there. Uh, I think this is going to have to be just pretty much uh, blacked out, this whole boob thing here. I think this one here is just going to have to be all the way blacked out. We might be able to put a little bit of shade on it. Because, you know, you got light coming from the other way, so maybe we can put a little light right there on it. Just a little bit, though. Nothing major. And then this side here has to be pretty blacked out right there. And then uh, I think we can just add a little shadowing. And then we'll do that other in the uh, lighter color. And we might even need to. Put that up there like that a little bit. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, now what we want is we want light color here, but we want it dark along the bottom here. So we'll, we'll put that in pretty thick there. Do that one there. And then we'll just kind of go lightly there, but we... There we go. There we go. We'll shade it up from the bottom up. There we go. Nice. Okay. I think the top is uh, completed for our dark, sha dark shade. Um, I think I would like to go a little bit lighter on the pants. Uh, I know what. Let's do this other arm over here real quick. Let's do this one. Yeah, I got to kind of try to pretend where that line is going to be.
All right, I think the bottom here will do completely black or darkened out. You know, I know this looks like black probably to you guys, but it's not. It's actually just a, uh, a, a decently dark gray. So to me, on the green, it's, it's a gray, but if I do heavy, then it, it is a darker color, but it's just not this, you know, major black. It's, it's just not this, like, deep black color there. And that really makes a huge difference when you're uh, airbrushing. Uh, it took me many years to realize that uh, shadowing was not black. Uh, shadowing was actually just, well, actually I use purple quite a bit for most of my shading, especially on uh, portraits. Uh, purple will, it's not black, but boy, it'll sure give you the impression of black without making it. I wish I could show you guys in the real colors, but because these cameras aren't picking the real colors up. But uh, yeah, you can really make some nice shadows and shades with, uh, with uh, purple. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline uh, this in this color and then uh, we'll use the lighter purple Uh, you know what? This is actually supposed to be dark in here, so let's let's do that. This is like her undies, I guess you could say. Okay, excellent. Uh, let's see. Oh, you know what would have probably been awesome to do? Wonder if we can still get away with it. Uh, let's see if we can get away with it. Let's put a little uh, belt loop thing over it. So it does look like belt on her pants. Okay, let me see. Get this down a little bit so it's easy for me and easy for you guys. I'll tell, tell you what, since I'm off the screen, let's do this. Let's come up here and we'll do, we'll do this part of the foot and stuff. And then uh, let's do that. Then we'll move the camera down so we can catch the lower part of the foot. There we go. Okay, now this is way low down here. <laughs> I gotta get down there myself. All right, let's see here. There we go. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's make, like, maybe some bootstraps on there or something. There we go. 
Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's do them here too. And it looks like we can only get one little part of another. Uh, you know what? Maybe right here we better do this. I don't think we have something that shows our pants ending. So, okay, that looks good. Now, uh, I think I'll use this a little bit here. Um, let's see. We're going to do... Okay, let's just kind of put a little bit of shading in here. Do like the knee. Let's do some... Come on. Keep a work in here. Okay, make that a little bit darker right there. Make this even more darker, because it's in the behind. Uh, I don't know what to do with the shoes. I really don't. Um, maybe we can make them a brown or something like that. Maybe that might be cool. Okay, let's do a little shading right there. A whole lot of shading right here. Uh, let's do a shadow. Like that's a lid. Okay, looks good. Let's go ahead and do the knee over here in my Come on. Not wanting to work with me. Okay, there we go. Go ahead and bring this one back now. Let's kick over to this camera so we can take a better look at it. Yeah, that's looking pretty good, people. Oh, my damn hand was in the way there. I'm so sorry. I look over at the TV just to see my big old mitts in the way of whatever I was doing. <laughs> okay, awesome. I like it. Let's do this. Uh, I don't think I'm going to need... Um, yellow again i guess I, I just can't keep my head out of the shit people i'm sorry <laughs> uh let's move let's move our colors around a little bit wash our gun out um i'm actually working with uh five airbrushes today in case you guys didn't know uh i do have 10 that i normally work with but i'm only doing five today um Normally what I'll do is a black and white is um, dedicated, so it's always a black and white airbrush. But then the other ones I can swap around. So like light colors, I can do like, you know, yellow, pink, uh, uh, violet, you know, light colors. And then I have another one I do dark colors, so like brown, green, blue, etc. Um, but we're not using all those colors, so... We're just kind of swapping back and forth. Well, actually, what are we using today? I got a black, a dark gray, so that's two. A white. I do got a blue, but I don't know if we're going to use much of it today. We might a little bit in the suit. Um, I've got uh, the uh, uh, the skin color, the portrait pink. I got two colors of purple, um, a yellow, and a brown. So I guess that's quite a few colors we're using. Quite a few colors. All right, now this one is a very light purple. So we're just going to spray it on here just lightly.
because what I'm going to do is after I do this, we're going to come in with a purple. And then we're going to actually, you know, add some more color to it, more purple. But we're going to use this in our shadow of our other color as well. So. Okay. Tell you what, let's go ahead and go back to this camera so we can see a little better. And I got a fly just completely terrorizing me at this particular moment, the little bastard. <laughs> the little bugger. I'm just going to do light little shades here, and I'm just going to kind of pretend where my light source is at up here, coming down. Just put some of this purple in there, and I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Nice, and that just laid down super even right there. That's awesome. That is awesome right there. Okay, let's put a little over that so it's not so dark. Put a little bit back here to make a double line. Like there's another light in the background. We kind of already got our, our outline color doing that for us. Actually, I guess i going to get down here where you guys can see that. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to... I got to remember to move the camera. <laughs> My bad. And then we'll redo that line. Excellent. Yeah, that's looking very nice. This purple is just really laying on that green nice. It just goes to show that purple goes with green. <laughs> I know a lot of people will argue that, but purple, to me, purple goes with green. It really does. Uh, my truck is that. Purple and green. Okay, let's do a little bit right here so that we can tell that that is part of the pants as well. Nice. Okay, the brioches look good. Uh, let's go ahead and add a little bit of this purple to uh, her upper bust part and her hand pieces. And we can use this to kind of give us some more detail. So we can kind of draw a little detail back in here just a little bit. There we go. Nice. Okay, let's uh, run this line right on down around like that a little bit so we can see that curvature right there. I might have got it just a little too thick. That's okay. We can come back in and go over it a little bit. So let's do that. Oh, we forgot to paint that in right there. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. That means we'll have to go to, well, well, we'll, we'll have to wash this color and, uh, anyways, that's okay. That's all right. We'll, we'll come back and do that. Tell you what, let's make a little bit of a line right there. 
little bit of a line and we'll also make another line right there so it's like the light is shining up this way on it okay there we go perfect all right Okay, nice. Do another little highlight right there. Oh, didn't want to work. Let's do, let me make sure I got the camera okay. I do, all right. Go ahead and make that a little bit more. Well, is that one? Okay. Exilientos. Uh. All right, I guess let's look at it from the other camera. And, uh, you know, that's coming along pretty nice there. I'd say let's visit here for a second. I need to uh, get a drink anyways and kind of rest my back just a little bit. All right, let's have a let's have a big pull off this jug. <laughs> uh, thank you, uh, Beach Bum. I appreciate that very much. I'm just glad you guys are here watching and enjoying it. So it's looking pretty good. It's coming along nice. Oh, I see it says uh, the skin color is awesome. Thank you, Easy. I appreciate that. You saw how I kind of, you know, worked that in, right? Where I can get them subtle. This is the thing you got to look at. This design doesn't really have like a lot of skin area. <clears throat> so what you don't want to do is put a whole bunch of detail in there. <clears throat> but you do want to get a little bit in. So you can get a feel for the curve. You know, she's kind of twisted a little bit there. So you kind of want to get a little bit of feel for the curve and stuff. But it's, it's one of those times where a little is a lot. Um, you don't really want to, you know, do a lot of outlining too much. Now, we pro I have outlined a little bit, you know, and I probably will a little bit more on the darker side. Um, but yeah, you just, you, you, the more paint you put on there, just the more paint you've got on there. So the whole point of it is, is, is to try to put the least amount of paint with the best coverage. You know, you're shadowing, you're shading. You can really see how the shading is like right here across the top of the breast and along the bottom here. Another good spot is down here. You can just see the shut, subtle colors. Now, I'm going to come in with a darker purple, and I'm going to go over all of this even up here. But I do want this up here darker than the pants down here. So, I, you know, I, I, don't want, I don't want my entire clothing scheme to look the exact same color, but I would like it to be similar to the color. And so that's why we're doing that. Yeah. We're not too far from being done here, really. Well, I shouldn't say that. We still got the hair and the guitar to do. But I think that's what we'll do. We'll shoot our purple on. We'll get that on there. Uh, I say we do her hair next. Get that done and out of the way. And then we'll just finish up with the, uh, the belts and the guitar and straps. And I think we'll have this picture completed. This one's... And it's actually looking pretty decent from what I can see. On I got the uh, Xbox. I at least got one viewer, me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm watching on the Xbox too, so I can kind of see it a little bit. Um, there you go. Well, you know, Beach Bum, I appreciate that. I'm not really doing a teaching. I'm just kind of trying to say a little bit of how I'm doing it. 
I do plan on making some some videos about that teaching and doing some teaching, but that's in the future. I, I want to do a, you know a school where I have beginners, and then I and then if there are uh, you know people who are more advanced, to have an advanced class on stuff and be just working on projects and going over it and helping them work on their projects and what they need to do. But with the beginner course, there's a lot. You know, it's not a lot to learn. It's this, there's a lot to take into consideration. And you'll only learn it. Oh, this one's really showing the color pretty nice. Look at it. You can really see how that black on her uh, uh, chest or breasts is not black. You can actually see the, the darker color of purple in it where it's been shaded. So, yeah, I'm seeing that good there. Um, anyways, there's just a, I think, and the way I approach it is if you can learn how to control your airbrush and what it does, there isn't anything you can't do with it. You just got to learn what the airbrush is doing. And every airbrush is different, even the same ones. All of my airbrushes I, you know, I'm surprised I never named them because every one of them have a, has a different personality. They work different. They act different. They spray different. They, they sound different. I mean, even the sound of the air coming out of it sounds different. And all of my airbrushes are the same model, you know, same, same brand. Well, that's good, Beach Bum. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad anything that I'm doing is helping. You know, I don't know uh, if, you know, a lot of this kind of stuff can apply to other painting too. It doesn't have to just be airbrushing. <clears throat> so, you know, I don't know if you're airbrushing or not, or if you're just, you know, interested in it. And um, a lot of people think that it's easy. <clears throat> it is not easy. But once you learn how to work your airbrush, then it becomes immensely easier. So, in one hand, it is easy. But in the other hand, it's like one of the toughest things you'll ever do because it requires hand eye coordination. It requires movement without thought. You know, I don't think about when I'm going to move my finger. I'm just used to doing it and, and I know what I'm trying to do. So, that's opening and close. You know, uh, I, I don't know if you guys can hear the air. I do have my mic pretty sensitive. But when I'm spraying here, let me put it up here where it's a little closer. When I'm spraying, I'm spraying all the time. I'm just moving the needle back and forth to open and close the paint coming off. I don't paint like this. And you can't even hear that. So there we go. No, you can't hear it. It's not even picking it up in my mic. Um. So, but anyways, there's a lot of things to learn about airbrushing. And if you learn even the basics good, you can, you know, I've, I've worked with a few people here and there. And I can always tell who's going to do it and who's not. Because it, it, the minute I get them making dots, I know if you're going to be an airbrusher or not. Somebody who's going to be an airbrusher does them without question and does them and does them and does them. And then when they're having problems, they stop and go over and start doing dots. And I know that person's going to make it. The person who's not going to make it is after they make about 30 dots. They're like, okay, what's next? No, that's not what's next. What's next is 9 billion more dots. Get busy, you know? <laughs> <clears throat> but no, once people kind of start getting the basics down and I start showing like the other night when we were doing rat tails and stuff, um, there it's just it you're it's just gonna be easier for you. And now it's it's a question of coming up with something to paint, something to airbrush, you know. All right. Let's get back busy. I'm mad at Scott. He's supposed to come down here and hang out with me while we're painting this. He's upstairs. He didn't have to go to work today, so he's upstairs playing video games. Eh, who can blame the guy, right? Um, okay. Let's see. Let's go back to... Um, you know, I think I'm liking the portrait pink. Uh, and instead of using white, I think we're just going to continue to do her hair with the portrait pink. So um, I tell you what, let's start with this side and let's just try to work this whole 
<clears throat> this whole piece of um, uh, hair in. Now, also, I've got her in ponytail, so I've got to make it look like she's got a ponytail on here. So uh, let's do this as like a thing, then we'll do that. There we go. Now, that looks kind of more like a ponytail. All right, now most of this is going to be a darker brown, so let's not add too much light there, but we might, we might like right there, like this is a strand. All right. I don't have any red mix, but I'm almost thinking some red, and we'll put it on her ponytail and on her shoes. A nice bright color of red or a red color, I think, would make it all pop off there. So I think we're going to do that. All right, let's bring this around. I believe we're going to do this as a dark brown right there. So let's just. Okay, you know what I think I'm going to do is we're going to, I think we're going to utilize a little, a little tape here. I really don't want that arm getting blown out here. So let's do this. I'm going to just put a piece of tape right around where her elbow is. we go just like that and we might even do that okay see now I can kind of airbrush right there and I don't have to worry about everything going over on her arm I've got a lot of shading to do and we definitely don't want to contaminate that other piece. So, okay, let's. Yeah, and the airbrush doesn't seem like it's wanting to spray real well. Like it's too thick or something, but we don't want it too thin. We want it to cover the shirt. Okay, looks good. Now, All right. <clears throat> I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on detail. I'm just going to put color on the top and color on the bottom to give it uh, a con you know a, a lighted and and highlighted and a dark side. So we're really not going to spend a lot of time on the hair. Okay. That, we can come back in with that purple and make that just a little bit more uh, solid right across there because I've gotten into it just a little bit. So let's see. Let's do this. We'll do just a little bit. Because I'm going to come in with the brown.
Okay, yeah, let's get a little, try to define that split that's on her hair right there. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and move over to this hair. Oh, you know what? We're, we are going to need some more yellow. I just, this hair is going to be kind of yellow. So, yeah, we are going to need some more yellow. My bad. Dang. My arm is getting tired. This uh, right arm, or left arm. I don't know why, because this one, the right arm, I'm holding up higher than the left arm, so I don't know why. Okay. All right, looks good. Let's go. Um, okay, I tell you what, let's get out of the purples. Uh, we'll probably, oh, you know what? We're going to need to, um, let me see here real quick. Which is this one here? Okay, I've already got the dark one. We need to do this piece of clothing right here. need a shadow that matches that one so I can't really fully darken it in right there. All right. Okay, looks, oh, shoot. I did all of that without you guys getting able, being able to see that. Oh, damn. Um, we just airbrushed that right there. And that would have been a good one to see because we had to be extremely tight to get the shadowing in there. You can see how it's dark right here, but then it lightens up. Then it's dark, so damn it, sorry, my bad. That's a good one that you really probably wanted to see. <clears throat> All right, now we'll put the light purple kind of right here. I mean, I could have painted that all dark and then airbrushed a little bit of that. But like I said, when you do more paint, it just starts getting muddy looking. So you, you can do some highlights, but you really want to be careful what, hi what highlights you choose uh yeah which one you choose to do and which ones you choose not to do if i would have made that black then i would have had to have done a whole lot of this light purple to get it to be bright <clears throat> i don't think you can see it but there is some of the color that was there before you can just kind of make it out a little bit right there of what the shirt was before i added in the purple is of the shade okay um, now let's go ahead and clean out the purple and we'll go to, uh, let's see, we'll go to yellow and brown. And we'll use this one for yellow. Shit, 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 shoots. Okay, that's brown. Here's yellow. Orange. Oh, 
Am I using that camera? I don't want to be. I've got my head stuffed in the second camera. So I'm over here. Do, 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> you guys see the top of my cranium. Oh, geez. I tell you what, let's switch to that camera so you guys can see it from the big, the big picture. Now I'll try to keep my head out of the way because I know that one's on. Okay, and this one is going to be uh, brown. Oh, don't it make my brown eye blue. All right, who sings that song? Um, I don't know what I'll give you. Who, it's, who, can, who will tell me? Who can tell me who sings those lyrics? I know I didn't do it right. Oh, don't it make my brown eye blue. Uh, okay, I, let, let, me, let me see if I can do it, if I can remember it. Mexican American loves their mother and their mimas and their ninas and their hijas and their yahoos too. Oh, Mexican Americans don't want to get up early, but they got to because they got to go to work. So they do it real low. <laughs> Uh, I did, I'm singing it all wrong, but that's the song I'm thinking about. Don't it make my brown eye blue. <laughs> um, okay, let's get back to what we were doing. Yellow. Uh, I say we put some yellow into the design first. And then that way uh, we can add the brown in afterwards. Now, I'm just going to put this in easy. I am not going to pump this yellow on there. Because, first of all, I don't need it thick. Uh, and also, I don't need it, like, piling up on the shirt and stuff. Also, it is a green shirt. This yellow could, you know, potentially turn it green again. So, you really got to be careful. Nice. I hear uh, Scotty playing his bass. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. I don't know what we're going to do to... F oh, you know what? We forgot to put her damn shoulder blade in. That's what it is. Okay, we got to go back and do some more airbrushing there, guy. Ah! That's just what I didn't want to do. What the heck? Why are... I don't think I have enough yellow in my jug. My stem is a little short. Let me add some more yellow. When I tilt it forward, then it's enough. But when I go up straight, it's not enough. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> okay, let me show you what I mean. Uh, the part that goes down into the bottle sometimes are short, and you can kind of see how short it is there, kind of see it. So when your paint gets low, then it can't touch the paint to suck the paint up. And, but if as you're tilting the bottle around, then it'll suck it up. And some of the time. So we'll just add some more yellow to it. Now we're good. Okay, just put it on there kind of lightly. A 
Okay, nice. All right, good, good. Hey, and you know what's really nice is because we did some work before all this is we got a really nice kind of multi-shaded look to the hair. It's really nice. I'm really liking that. Uh, might even uh, overextend it a little bit. I can kind of see it. Put some like white highlights and sparkles on it and stuff, you know, like big... I mean, she's a rock star, damn it, right? I think I'm going to just kind of over ex over exert. Okay, come on, I put more in there. Over ex just kind of overdo the the yellow over her hair, so it's kind of like it's almost glowing. Uh, when I come in and I do the uh, the brown, I'll do a little bit more. Come on. Do a little more detail to it there. Okay. The hell? I know there's plenty in there now. All right. Awesome. Well, let's go ahead and um, uh, let's see. This is a little bit. What is it going to take to do this? Um, yeah, I'm just going to have to power through it. I'm just going to have to toughen it up. Um, my easel, I can actually move it up and down. And I was thinking about moving it down so it's, I'm not lifting up in the air so high with my arms to the hair. Plus, being down a little bit, I could uh, be a little bit more, more fluent in the lines. You know what? I think we're going to do that. Um... Okay, I'll tell you what, let's do this because it'll jerk the camera all over. So let me go to this camera here and let me see if I can't down a little bit. Oops. There we go. All right. And, damn it. <laughs> okay, that was an awful lot of work. Let's see if it was worth it. Let's see if it was worth it. All right. You know what? Let's leave that right there. I guess that one, I guess that one's not doing bad. Let's go ahead and... Oops, I think I went a little too far, but that's okay. We'll go a little more on this side. All right, the only thing that sucks about doing it this way here is uh, I can't put my knees underneath the easel, so I'm away from it a little bit. I think it'll be a little easier for me. Maybe. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm moving things everywhere. Okay. Let's pull back just a little bit. Okay. Here we go. Let's see what we can do now. Okay, we want this part here to be a little bit dark because it's in the fold. Okay. 
Uh, we want this one here to be in a little bit dark right there as well. Come out around. <laughs> Just trying to basically uh, airbrush. Sorry, guys, about the camera shaking. I just keep bumping it, and it's connected to the easel. So let me, if I can't get it to simmer down there a little bit. Okay, this is in the fold, so we want that to be kind of dark there, but this whole thing needs to be kind of dark because it goes right up into here. Oh. Damn it, I think I got on the arm a little bit right there. Uh, we might be able to get in there and fix it a little bit, we'll see. Okay, that's not looking too bad right there. Okay, we'll just kind of work our hair around. Nice. Give it a little bit of lineage there. Uh, we are going to come in and put some shadowing in there just a little bit. So that's why I'm not too worried about how nice the uh, lining looks in there because... We'll do that when we add some extra shadowing or extra shading in there. So now what we need to do though is get, uh, let's see, let's do, Okay, let's do a little reverse shading. Okay, nice. I think we need another line though, right there. Hey, excellent. Well, we'll make it a little bit shadier right there where it's going to fold and bend around. It'll be the dark spot. And go up that way, and then we'll do this a little bit dark down here. And 
because we're going around, we need a little bit of shadow on this side. And then a little shadow on that side. And that should give us a pretty good little turn look there. Need a little extra shading right there. Let's see, I think we need something like right there. A little bit of extra dark shading, nice. That looks good. Yeah, that looks good there. Okay, let's do a couple of wide to thin lines. We'll do it both ways. We'll do one on each side. That'll give us a, a line look, and we'll do that same thing over here like that. Okay, awesome. shade off her face to kind of cut that in just a little bit. Okay, good. Um, I think what we need to do now, uh, before we get too far and I forget all entirely all about it, is we need to get this shoulder airbrushed in here. Okay. I don't know. We're probably going to have this part messed up now because we didn't get it in there, and it'll probably look just completely different. Yeah, because especially now, since I don't have no... Oh, I do got the brown out. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm sitting there whacking the dang deal again. I'm, we're going to have to move that back now. As soon as I get the hair done, we'll move it back. Uh, let's see here if I can... Put the shoulder in. Yeah, it's gonna. Okay. Um, little bit of yellow. A bit of yellow. A little bit more back on this color again. Okay, good. Now let's do this. Um, uh, da, 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 da. I think what I need to do is go with the purple. We need to go, um, let's see, the brown. What color? Oh, you know what? We're not using the blue. Let me use that. Um, we'll uh, put our dark purple in for our shading. We'll get that, and then we'll come in. Oh, shit, I did spray blue. Okay, let me wash it real quick. The hell did I spray blue? Why would I have... Didn't spray anything blue. Okay, sorry about that. Let me get back in here again. See, and now we can kind of use that as a shadow, as a shading, a little bit there. 
put a little bit right there. All right, let's go ahead and Okay, we'll give her just a little bit of a line there because we got to put some purple there a little bit. Okay, I'm just kind of putting dark lines here and there, not really going out lining it, lining it, because we're going to come back in with a lighter color, and we're going to do the other same thing on the other side, uh, other side of the lines. So, uh, yeah, we definitely don't want to get it too heavy. Okay, let's do one right here. There. Okay, there we go. Let's do... Okay, let's do that. Do one right there. And okay, I think we're good. Let's do this. Let's go to the white. Go to the white. Let's make the light highlights. And then I think we can uh, we probably ought to finish up the face. All right. All right, once again, shaking the shit out of stuff. Oh yeah, that looks really good. I hope it looks that good on the stream. Let's see, what does that? Yeah, it looks pretty good, I guess. You can see it all right there.
Boy, that white is just not working very well either. Yeah, I'm not an... Oh, crap. I wonder if it's them. No, it's not. They can suck it. <laughs> Damn, I forgot all about it. Got to go do something for the folks. Jeez. All right. Let's uh, pick this up here a little bit. Let's get this done. Get her done. Okay. Nice. And now we will just do some highlights. And I think there we go. The hair is pretty much done at this point. Okay, since we've got the white out, let's go ahead and do the eyes and the uh, mouth real quick. Uh, and um, I'm going to have to get uh, red out for the tongue. I didn't think about that when I was... I didn't think about that. Go ahead and make the teeth. Let's make the tongue. That looks pretty good right there. We can come in and highlight the uh, the uh, deal up later. Um, you know, I'm actually thinking about. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is instead of using this black. I'm going to just use the dark gray. And that is not that one. <laughs> not that one. Um, okay, here it is. <clears throat> uh, 
All right. Okay, there we go for the mouth and the uh, the teeth, the tongue. I think I might want to do a little bit more shading on the tongue just to kind of get it to. There we go. Okay, and, uh, ah, why would you have sprayed like that? No, now we got this big old dark dot right in her forehead, damn it. Why would you have done that? Why? Why? Yeah, and I don't think there's anything I can do to just kind of fix that right from here, so. Ah, bummer, man. Bummer. All right, let's see if I can see if I can do the eyeball here now. Nice. There we go. Now, I'm going to try to attempt to put a little shadow in there so that it looks shaded above the eyes a little bit. Okay, good. Got to be careful doing that. Uh, now we probably needed the blue. <laughs> oh, man, I'm shaking the deal here. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's, uh, let me go back to this one. Uh, let me raise the deal back up if I can't. Oh, good Lord. Guess I don't need it that tight. <laughs> the damn. Okay, hold the table down, Bones, so you can lift it up. There you go. There you go. Oh, right there. Ah, oh, man, I might have to readjust the back of the thing because apparently I got it a little bit too tight. Okay, there we go. Ooh. Oh, that might be too far up. Bring it back down just a little bit. All right, don't laugh at my homemade shit here, okay? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, actually, my little stand's pretty decent that I've made here. Um, oh, yeah, it's, uh, oh. All right. Let's adjust everything. Get everything adjusted. All right. How about this camera? See, other than it's shaking all over the place. All right, actually, that looks pretty good. I guess we're back in, we're back in shape again. Um, Mod Hunter, what's going on? So I'm just happened to be looking over. Fire Spark, how are you, dear? Good to see you. Okay, I guess that's probably pretty good right there, I guess. 
Um, all right. Uh, let's, um, let's, um, I gotta fix that forehead. Damn it. I can't believe. Uh, let's see. I gotta go back to the brown, though. The white would. Well, actually, you know. You know, I, I, did, I gotta put a little white on that nose, on the brim of the nose. So let's see if I can get it here. Let's bring this guy up so you can see just how bad I messed this up. How's that look? Not too bad. It covered it up fairly decent. Um, let's see. Uh, we got a little bit of... Cut them teeth out there just a little bit better. Um, okay, I think that... Um, I think that's probably going to work. All right. Kind of made her cheek just a little chubby right there. Might try to reline that back in or put something in there. Just made it a little bit chubby. It should have came out and down a little bit. So, but eh, it's all right. Okay, let's do this. Let's get, um, okay, I know what. Let's do the brown. We got to get, uh, we got to get our final highlights in the hair. We got to get, uh, Okay, um, we need to put some shadow in there, and I think I'm going to use brown to do that. Okay, oh, you know what? We needed to put some uh, more shadow in the hand up there, too, and we probably could use a little more on that one. Um, all right, let's do this. Okay. And let's go back with the, uh, what do we want to use here? Oh, I don't know if I can actually fix that cheek without making a big old wide line right there, but we'll see.
Okay. Well, we did it, but it does kind of look weird a little bit. Did it, but it looks a little weird. I had a little purple up there to help knock it down just a little. Uh, let's see, let's go back to brown, which, okay. Yeah, I'm having to jump back and forth between colors now, guys, so give me a second to switch over to brown again. Uh, watch me over. I already have brown. Yeah, already got brown. Okay, we needed the blue anyway, so I uh, already had brown on a airbrush. Of course I did. Uh, now I need, now I don't, now I don't remember what I needed brown for. <laughs> Um, oh no, let's put a little bit right here. Put a little bit right there because that purple is just a little too purple. There we go. Just a little too purple. Um, maybe what we should do is let's see if we can line this. I think we, we need a line here. There we go. That looks good. Now uh, let's go ahead and drop down here and we'll make a line here as well. But we'll just go a little, little indent and then we'll make our line. Okay, good. And I guess we need to do the same thing over here. Make a line and make a line. Okay. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I was going to try and fill this in right here. There we go. I was going to try and fill that face in just a little bit. That does kind of hide it. Uh, maybe I could make another strand a little lower. Uh, that does kind of help. All right. You know, when somebody says they can't fix it with an airbrush, you shouldn't listen to them because that's what an airbrush was invented for, was to fix shit. No, no, no doubt. Uh, an airbrush was invented or was come up with the idea to touch up photographs. Uh, so that's the uh, story behind the airbrush that I know of. All right, let's go ahead and give her some blue eyes. Give her some blue eyes. Now we'll come back in with uh, the white. And we will highlight them up. Give a little, a little bright deal at the bottom of the eye in the blue and then one at the top and then kind of make it, give it a little bit of a realistic look. See if I can get that over there for you guys to see a little bit. Now, it's not too much in focus, but uh, I put one up at the top, right there. And then I put a little bit of one right down there at the bottom. And that helps give it a realistic look. Actually, from this point here, you can really see how nice the face actually looks. Uh, it's got a nice, clean look. We were able to actually fix that little dot fairly decent right there. And uh, I think the only thing we need to do is get some red. Um, I don't have any 
Uh, oh, you know what? I got a color cup. We'll use a color cup. Uh, or, or whatever you want to call them. I, I don't know what you call them. A color cup. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's get that back. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. It's a, I wish the camera is... Well, it could be the airbrushing that makes it look... Oh, shoot. I'm still connected to... Um, God! <laughs> I need your help. Okay, I'll tell you what. We'll do the red later. Let's get working on the base and the belt. We're we're down to that now. So let's let's go ahead and work on that. I'll I gotta unhook my mic and stuff so I can go over and uh, get the the color since I can't or I can do that, but not gonna. But I am gonna get a drink. Okay. Uh, I think I would like to do the um, the base in a purple, um, and then maybe a blue at the end of it, or something like that. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and do a two tone, a two tone kind of thing. Uh, let's see here. I'd have to. And back a little bit so we can get the whole, the whole guitar in there. The whole guitar. Nothing but the guitar. Okay. I'm going to start off with the purple. I'm kind of doing what I was telling you about earlier, if you can't make the whole line. Because what I want to do is I want to try and get uh, it pretty dark in an area. Okay, we're going to do blue down there, so let's not go any farther that direction. Let's actually, I think we should have stopped probably right about here someplace. Okay, let's... Here. And we can use some black or some of the dark purple stuff to get it. All right. Um, I think we just need to go with it dark, completely dark. Uh, all of this is going to be black. So uh, let's see. All of that is going to be black or a dark color. See this. Ah, I don't know why I'm doing purple down here. This is blue. Okay, get out of there with the purple bones. He says as he continues to keep painting. <laughs> okay, and then, oh, shoots. I just bumped the damn chair right there. Damn. Okay. Now, once again, I don't want a dark color all over on my uh, outside of my sh uh, the line. So I'm just going to take my time. Where are we going to do it? Right about here, I think, would be a good spot. I think it's trying to spray sideways on me. Oh, I got a piece of a, a chunk of crap on there. That's why. It'll uh, dry up on the tip, on the needle, and really give you a fit.
Okay, we got to be careful here that we don't get purple on the skin. No purple on the skin. All right. And we just darken it all up real good. So it's a nice dark color. Okay, that doesn't look bad. And you know what really helps out is because we drew it in white, we've got a lighter color around it, which will help when it comes time to, to highlight it. So I think, um, let's see, I think, how are we gonna do this? Um, I tell you what, let's, I think, I think what I might like to do is, um, use this white a little bit. And then the blue won't be so dark blue. It'll be kind of like a, I don't know, kind of be like a baby blue or a, a sky blue kind of maybe color. Okay. Okay, yeah, I got the camera there good. I was going to say, do I got the camera where you guys can see what I'm doing? Or Okay, I'll make some more out here. I'll make them a little bit more bluer. Because they're kind of white. Okay, excellent. Let's uh, let's give the blue a shot then. See what we can do here. Now I just want this light, so I've got to be real careful. I've got to be real careful that it don't come out in a big old blotch. Okay, not too bad. I'll go with that. Um, okay, now uh, I think what I'm going to need is... Uh, okay, I think this is the dark color. Let me see here. Okay, it is. Cool. All right, what we'll do is we'll use this one to outline the, uh, the rear of the guitar. But I think I'll go this way so I can see it. When I'm going this way, I, uh, it's a little harder to see below the gun. Uh, I just moved a little. Okay, moved a little right there. That's going to suck. That's okay. It can't be perfect because we're doing it by hand. We're doing it freehand, baby.
Okay. Um, I do believe we could probably come in with, um, uh, let's see, let's do, let's do the, uh, light purple. And I think we can probably get away with that light purple on both, on both pieces. So, Okay, we'll do a little cutout right there. Probably a little light reflecting on it right here. Just reinforce that a little bit. Now, since we did it there, we're gonna want another one right here too, but we're gonna want it to be kind of subtle, except for right where it's the brightest, right there, right in the, right in the curve. Make it the brightest. That gives us a nice curve look right there. All right, now what we'll do is when we come around this way here, we will reverse shade it. So we'll shade it a little lighter on this side. And that helps give us a line right there. Yeah. There we go. Little reverse shade. And then we'll also, I think, do that same thing right here so we can kind of cut that. Cut that little bit of a wide spot out that I put in there with the dark color. There we go. That looks nice, okay. And since we're kind of highlighted on the top, we got to do the same thing up here. So we'll do a little curl like that. And I think that's got our guitar looking pretty good. I think once we get a deal, we might put some magic, some magic going on right there. And uh, you know what? I'm just sitting here noticing this fly bug bugging the shit out of me. <laughs> no, um, did I get him? I got him. Die, die. I got him. I had to smash him in my hand. I got him. Uh, we forgot to do skin and dark and all kinds of crap right there. Um, so let me switch back out of the white. Sure didn't pay attention very good there. Um, you know, this this is a little bit tough to airbrush and talk at the same time. I'm sorry. Uh, I know you guys think I talk a lot, and I do, but it is tough to uh, concentrate airbrushing and painting. So I pardon me for the mistakes, but I think mistakes are just in my nature anyways. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go ahead, and I kept thinking this looked funny here, and I just couldn't figure out why. So, that's all right. It'll, it might stick out like a th sore thumb, and then it might not, so we'll see here. Okay, yeah, that's probably good enough there. Do I got brown still? I do got brown still. Okay. At least that's a plus. Okay, why are you not spraying? Come on. Come on. Okay, good, good, good. Now we got to switch over to yellow with something. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's do this. Uh, let's get... Um, now, this one's going to be kind of tough because this is part of the, the suit. But we don't want... Uh, the, yeah, we got to... 
we don't want dark on the other side because the light's shining right there on it. So we got to actually shade this up. If I can do it right up to that line. There we go. Not bad. See, I, got, I have to leave the... Oh, let me adjust that a little bit, I guess. You got to leave that spot along the outside to give it a, a, a lighted look, a lit up look. Um, okay, so let's now go to yellow, and I think I'll take out the blue for that. I think we're done. Um, or actually, I tell you what, let's let's give this a little bit. Let's hit this in a few spots to make it a little bit darker. There we go. All right, gives it a little bit more con or uh, like detail, I guess you could call it, or um, some shape, some form. All right, so how much are we gonna charge Scott for this shirt? You know, I get a hundred. All right, I don't no, I don't get it. <laughs> Here, where's my button at here? Uh, no, I don't get it. But I ask for $129 an hour when I'm airbrushing. Uh, so how long we've been airbrushing? Three, over three hours now, or right at three hours? So, hmm, that's like 70, like a lot of money. <laughs> okay, back to painting, enough of this. Uh, yeah, we gotta figure out how much to, to charge him and then make him pay. Get your wallet out, Scott. Scott A. All right, uh, let's see, what are we doing next? We are, we are, we are, oh, we're still working on our skin. See, lose track what I'm doing here. Okay, just a little bit of yellow. All that for just a tidbit of yellow. Okay. Now, let's do this. Let's throw a line in there with the brown. Oh, come on. What? Good. Bring you up to where I'm at here. Okay, there we go. And then a line here for the brown as well. So we can see that that's her belly. Her belly. Um, now let's do a little bit of light purple. And we can also fix the breast there just a little bit. That one just a little, and then we're going to need to put a little little uh, black on it, or a little more dark, too, but we'll do that here in a bit. Um, okay, I think uh, we've got the guitar bass looking pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and uh, let's paint in the, the dark pieces, shade them up, and then I guess we could start laying tape down. All right, I think we'll need, uh, I think we can just do a little bit of shade over here on this side because we're gonna have a little bit of light there. Bring that around like that. Uh, make this side just a little bit more darker. Okay.
And if you work with it, you know, you really can do a lot of shading with one color. Uh, that really helps when you're trying to do certain stuff. Uh, you can really, you know, cut in a lot of detail by doing that. And, and it's not even really detail. It's, it's, it's more like you've just created shapes that the mind is creating detail with. Okay, we're just going to do it like that. And that gives us a little bit of an idea. I'm darkening it up a little bit, but it gives us a little idea where there's some, uh, well, on the camera, it does, it's not really picking it up too much. So, okay, uh, let's do this next. Let's go ahead and get the guitar neck knocked out. And we're going to go, like I said, with some tape for that. So let's just get us a couple of pieces and we'll just use the same ones over and over again because I'm cheap ass. No, <laughs> no, because it's just easier to use them all in all. Okay, I'll tell you what, let's go all the way down because we're going to need to make sure it all lines up at the end. Now look at that. I didn't do too bad. There's very little. Nice. There is very little of the color in there. I, I like that. That's awesome. Um, okay, let's do this one here. Oh, maybe this, this side is not, not, I didn't do very good on this side. Okay. Yeah, that's not very good. What are we going to do here? Okay. Shit. Um, we're just going to have to, um, we're going to have to a little extra airbrushing to do to fill in the line that's there. I did okay on this side, but I did sucky on that side over there. So, okay. Um, let's do this. Okay, even though I'm taped off and I can spray uh, heavily or as much as I want, I still don't spray big old globs of paint. So remember that when you're spraying, you should always spray the least amount you can and then build up. Or uh, if you're lining, try to put it all out in one color. So... Okay, let's see if I can make that look like. Okay. Ah, I bumped into the tape. Damn it, that's okay. We got to put a uh, lighter color there anyways. We got to do a lighter color right there, so. All right. That. Now let's take this up. Okay, there we go. And we'll do that and that. All right. Good, 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 good. Still kind of seems a little light right here. I must not have sprayed it thick enough, but that's okay. We'll line it out right there. Perfect. Okay, now... Uh, let's see. Now what do I want to do? You know what? Actually, we got to do all of this because it gets shadowed in there. Okay, there we go. Let's do that. Okay. 
All right, now, oh shit. Let's put those back, because we gotta do our frets. Don't fret, we gotta do our frets. Okay, so let's do, And now we'll go up here a little bit. Come on. You can work. You can do it. Okay, let's draw a double one in right there. Awesome. And then let's do, uh, let's see, let's do right here. Okay, now let's do Some soycles. Do that. Okay. Nice. Um, okay, I think we're good on those. Now let's just go ahead and see if we can't get some uh, strings in here. Ooh, uh-oh. Don't pull it off there. All right. Probably not gonna, but let's, let's give it a shot. Let's see, we need to come quite a ways away from there. Okay, let's do... You got to go clear down to there. And we got to make sure we get four strings on here, too. We got to be uh, guitar correct, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, it, guitar correct. I think that's too big of a... I think that's too big of a string. Uh, let's see here. It still looks pretty damn big, but let's let's check it out. Let's let's see. Um, let's see. Are we using? I don't think we're using the white. Let's get over to the white. I think we did that in the portrait pink. The portrait pink. All right, let's look at it this way for a minute. <laughs> Try to get a little different view from time to time here. Uh, let's see. Okay, right there. Don't even know if this is going to work. Don't even know if that's going to work. I might have to just... Uh... Okay. 
I might have to, uh, oh no, that looks okay. All right, now we just gotta make sure that we get them all in there. Uh, let's see, we, if we do one there, one, no, we, we can't do that. So we'd have to do one, uh, let's see, one. I'll tell you what, let's do it like this. We'll do it the reverse way like we just did. And actually the bottom one could probably go right along the edge actually. Yeah, let's do that. That looks good. That looks good. Let's do that. Um, yeah, that looks really good. Oh, 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 why, why are you getting wider down here? Did not make you go wider. Okay, nice. Just got to make sure I don't go over her hand. Might be hard to get rid of a white line over top of her hand. Yeah, and I'm not going to get too fast. I'm not going to pile the paint in there. I'm just going to lay it in there a little at a time. Just a little at a time. Uh, we don't want it to, you know, bleed into the material because it is water or water base. Okay, let's take a look. Let's see what we got. Okay, nice. It is a little bit brighter than the other one, but I think we're okay. Now we just got to get two more strings in there. Um, see. Do, 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 do. Like half. Well, let's see if this will work. It'll either look good or it won't. <laughs> I think that one was a little wider too, that last. You know, it's too bad we didn't think about that. We could have made the top string wider and the bottom string uh, thinner. Like for real, man. Okay. And we'll do the same thing. We'll just lay a little at a time in there. And... Okay, let's uh, check it out. Oh, I don't know. That don't leave much room for the next string. We got a we got a three string bass. Damn, that looks good too. But they're just that's gonna be tight. That's gonna be tight. We should have moved that one closer. Should have been a little closer, but that's okay. Um. Oh, shoot. That went wide. That went wide. Okay. There we go. I think it'll be all right. It might look a little weird, but it would be nice if they were all, you know, uh, exactly the same distance away from one another, but... I don't know how we'd really do that. Okay, just lightly put some in there, and we're about ready to find out just how bad it'll look, cause how or how off it is. 
All right. Okay, here we go. Moment of truce. Uh, yeah, it looks terrible. <laughs> uh, well, the thing that's going to be nice about this, though, is actually this line here gets black again. So uh, all of this off of this top string uh, actually needs to be black. And then we do a highlight on that. So let's... Uh, Let's do that. Oops, nope, nope. That just moved everywhere. Um, okay, right there like that. And like that. Okay. Uh, the reason is is because this is the top of the neck. We're looking we're looking down on it. You know, from from kind of this upper part. Um right there. Okay, there we go. There we go. And that, yeah, that helps out. That When you make that all black right there, that helped out. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, cut this back in again. Okay, there we go. And um, let's see. I know what we're going to need to do. We are going to need to do uh, our uh, tuning keys, I guess, or whatever they're called. I have no idea what they're called, actually. So let's do this. Let's use black. I think they're called tuning keys, but I could be wrong. Okay, nice. Do that. Uh, let's see. Let's actually do the purple first. It gives us that shade across there. And then we can do our... Yeah. Okay, nice. And then we can do... Little bit of a shade right there. Little bit of a shade right there. Okay. Uh, now we can go ahead and uh, put our little keys down into the purple a little bit so it looks like they're, yeah, there we go. That's good. Okay. Um, A circle there, circle there, there, and all right. Well, it's not the cleanest thing up in there, but I got them to connect so. if I can make them just a little bit brighter. Okay, there we go. Well, they don't all match up, but whatevers. Uh, Fret these up just a little bit better to make them look like they're just slightly above. You know, that actually doesn't look bad. I'm just not going to cry about that one bit, actually. Uh, let's see. Let's do this. Uh, this is kind of a little bit misshapen, so we'll just fake in a few lines. Uh, the purple's in there and overlapping it, but... Uh, I don't think nobody's going to notice, so we'll just kind of fake that a little bit. Do that. We'll 
just shade up our deal down there. Okay. Oh, we forgot to do our thumb. Oh, no way. I just dang it. Oh, man, there's going to be 9 million things that we forget to do here. Ah, I can't believe it. We're flipping thumb. Um, and I probably can't get away with shooting at white and putting some brown on it either, can I? Damn it. Okay, we're going to try. <laughs> uh, okay, we got to kind of, you know what, we got to line her hand out just a little bit more. Uh, might even have to, uh, tell you what, let's actually use uh, some, per I'll tell you what, let's shoot a little yellow over it while I got yellow, because I'm going to, I'm going to go to brown here in a second. And Okay, there we go. Oh, man, that is just, I mean, it's, my perfect woman has no body parts. <laughs> Uh, missing a tummy, missing a thumb, missing an eye. Uh, oh shit, I was already on, I already got brown. Okay, no problem. It's no problem here. Uh, Yeah, we're going to need to use purple, but you know, I hate to use purple and it just be so bright. Okay, do a little brown there. Uh, I, th I think it still just needs a little purple. I just, I, I mean, at least on the palm and the one finger. Uh, so let's do that real quick. Okay, yeah, and I'll just uh, do a little bit shading there, too. Uh, actually, let's go back with the brown and shoot a little brown over that. To... There we go. Okay. Damn it, I think I got it a little too, too dark there, but that's okay. That's all right. We're going to do the same thing over here. We didn't learn our lesson, so we're going to do the same thing over here. All right, I think now we can come in with some of this. There we go. And that'll be fine. Okay, that'll be fine for her hand. It's a little bit dark. Or a little darker than I would like. Yeah, and that's just going to hurt. That's just going to make it darker. Okay. Um... Uh, let's see. Let's try to line this a little bit. Oh, that's purple. Let's not do purple. Let's do brown. Try to line this just a little bit darker. There we go. All right. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, bum, bum. I think the, the guitar is probably good enough now. Okay. Yeah, you're. Let's go back to this one here. 
gonna, this is a little bit too light, so I'm just gonna darken this up a little bit. I don't need a big old, uh, yeah, big old white shade on it. It's supposed to be dark in color. Lighten it up like that a little bit. All right. Um, think probably pretty good. Let's go ahead. Uh, let's do let's do the belt. Let's do the shoes. And I think I'm going to do the belt. Let's see. How are we going to do it? Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's use the same dark color for the belt and the guitar strap. And then we'll use purple once again to, to hide it, to highlight it. Okay. Man, that thing is shooting out of there when I don't want it to. Stop that. Got something dry in there, I think. Oh, okay. What's going on here? What's going on? Okay, I don't know what that was all about. That was just weird as hell. Um, okay. I don't even know how to explain what was going on. Let's see, are we... Are we got my face in the way? Let's get my face out of the way. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. Uh, maybe we should have went with something else. Oops, I snagged the damn shirt. I'm so close. Snagged the shirt with the end of the needle. Okay, that'll work for me. Uh, let's see here. We are working on a spot. We are not videoing, so let's move that over and do that. Okay, I'm just going to try to make long strokes. And then we'll just spray it in there pretty heavy to make it dark. Come on, don't be blowing out there. Sometimes you get too heavy, it just starts splattering out there. So be careful you don't do that. You can kind of see how it's a little fluffy right there. It's not so, uh, you know, like nice, clean cut line. You have to kind of be a little bit careful. Trying to match up with our white line. Since we already kind of went out here and drew it with a white line already.
Okay, now, uh, I think for the belt buckle, tell you what, let's make, let's do this. Let's bring this down. Let's bring that over. Was just going to do white for it, but I guess I'm going to actually outline it in black. And then we'll spray the white in there to, or a light color, eh, probably white. Probably white. And that'll make it look like a, a belt. Okay, let's do the other side. Yeah, I think we'll just fill all this in solid and then we'll just use a light color to define the details to it. Just kind of shade, shadow a little detail in it. Uh, once again, I know this probably looks pretty black to you guys, but it's actually just a just a dark gray. Uh, it's uh, it's not really. I mean, it's it's dark, but it isn't overpowering like black would be. Black really can get to be an overpowered sometimes. Uh, I used to outline my uh, art, uh, cartoon characters, you know, stuff like this. Um, if I was drawing a teddy bear or, you know, a, a turtle or something, I would always outline them in black. But then uh, later on, I discovered that outlining them just in a, like a purple, well, I used a little black, a little purple, um, and white to create this color. And it really makes a nice outline color. And once again, we'll make it look square like a belt. Okay. Um, I think that should do it. Let's just go ahead and um, almost kind of wish that I had. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's let's use the purple and then we might come in with the blue uh to uh to re-highlight it up again. Um let's see here. Let me make sure we got the camera where we need it here. Okay, then it kind of bends right there. So we need to do it right there. Then right there. Okay. Ah, what the heck is wrong with you guys? This one's shooting without shooting or opening. Ha <laughs> ha.
Uh, stuff gets on the end of them and gets dried up a little bit and keeps them open. Okay, there's that, nice. Okay, good. Let's see, let's get us up here where we're working now. Okay, we'll make this a little bit lighter in there so it cuts it away from the shirt. Uh, even though it is the same color as the shirt, we're just, we want to try to keep it from not being the same color as the shirt. Okay, let's go back down here and let's work on this one here. All I'm doing here is I'm just trying to kind of think a little bit where some of the uh, bends in the belt would be and how the light would refract off of it. Now, this is a um, an anime, so I mean, it doesn't have to be like, you know, perfect or anything by no means. But still trying to uh, get a little bit of a light source going. And keeping up with that really helps out a lot. Okay, and we'll do a little bit right there like that. Okay, um, let's do... Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and uh, put our white in our buckles. And then I think we might even add a little bit to uh, to highlight the belt as well, or the bends of the belt as well. We may put a little bit of blue in these to kind of give it a metal look, maybe. Man, we got to get this done. I want to go play some Starfield. It's getting late already. I'm telling you, Starfield, baby, Starfield. Okay, what we'll do is we'll highlight everything up. Let's, uh, do I have the blue? I don't have the blue. Uh, okay, I'll tell you what. Let's go with some purple instead. Uh, yeah, let's go with a little purple instead. Okay, excellent. Uh, what do we need to do now? We need to come back in here. We got a little bit of overspray, uh, overspray of blue. We need to put a little purple down. We got a little bit of our blue over on our color there. So let's 
Put a little bit of that in there to help knock that blue down a little bit. Um, okay. Uh, I think what we need to do now is uh, come in with a little bit of black here and there. And uh, define some of our shades. I don't know, man. I... I hate to start putting black in there and then it ended up being, yeah, we're not going to do that. Uh, let's see, let's do a, a wider line right there, like that, like that. Yeah, there we go, that gives it a little bit of... Uh, we're going to... Just re-highlight some of these dark areas up a little bit. Got to make a little shade on there for the for the guitar, right? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's see up here. Okay, perfect. We line out our line here. There. Okay, um, I think we're good. Let's see, we need a little bit of a shadow right here from this. From the uh, strap going over it, right? And the strap over it right there. Okay. Um, we do still need to do our red. But I think it's just time to go ahead and do our white highlights. Uh, shit, our shoes. Blah, 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 blam, 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 blam. Um... I have no idea how I want to even do the shoes. Uh, let's see. Let's do... Let's do... And maybe we'll put some red in there. Okay, let's do this. And let's do that. Um, okay, we'll do red. We'll do... Um, what will we do? Come on. 
You can keep working. We're almost done. Okay, let's do that. Let's do, let's do a little brown, I think. Okay, and I think we need some more. Um, I believe I want this just a little more purpley. Okay, that'll look work there. Let's do that a little more purpley there. A bit more purple up there. And let's even dump a little more purple in the wrist bracelets. They got hit pretty hard with yellow, so let's do that. Okay. Um looks good, I think. Uh, I think what we need to do is just do our highlights. We'll do our red, and then we'll sign the picture and go play some Starfield. All right, let's do this. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around and do some random uh, little highlights here and there. I think I'm going to put like some uh, let's see let's do this um, okay let's use one of these papers that I got from uh, the, the monitor that I bought or had to get. Okay, excellent. Okay, perfect. Now let's go ahead and uh, let's see. Let's go back to go back to this camera here. I think you can kind of see pretty much everything I'll be highlighting with this. Okay. 
And I'm thinking that we're probably pretty good now. Um, let's see, let's do a couple on our... Let's do a couple on our belt. Um, okay, let's see if we can't do our belt buckle now. Just going to put some little shine stars. Would normally do this freehand, but we need these kind of small and clean. Okay, let's do one there. Let's do one here. So, uh, let's see, let's do one up here. Okay, now I think what we need to do is uh, uh, just make some background shit. Oh, no, I really like the way these circles kind of look, so let's maybe pop a few more of these. Or I shouldn't say these circles, these uh, little dots. thought they were looking pretty cool when we were... So let's put a couple of them back in. And even put a few back out here on the guitar. Uh, let's do a few out here. Like we got a little magic going on here or something. Shut up, Scott. I will. <laughs> And I'm probably working up there where you guys can't see anyway. So let me get this back up there. Let's bring it out here a little bit. Just kind of blending it into the background a little bit, maybe. Uh, let's see. Some probably right here. Might not be a bad idea.
Okay, like that. Do some over here. Okay, and we're down here doing this now. You know what, maybe we do a little bit of a bright, right there off of back, off of her back a little bit. Yeah, and we'll just kind of do a little, yeah, I like that. That's nice. That's that looks good. Gives a little highlight off of her back. Okay, let's uh let's do another little bit right here and I think I think we're going to be okay. And um let's see, maybe a little bit Maybe we'll just show like a little motion movement here. <sighs> Looks like a little motion movement with her coming off there. I think we need something off the knees right here. Okay, I do believe, uh, oh, we got to do red. I forget it to red. Forgot the red. Let's go over to this one here so we can get a really good look at it. Um, before we go, we'll move the cameras around so we can get a straight on shot of it. And then I will also get my digital camera out and take a picture of it with that too so it can get a really good uh, get a really good look at the detail in it. Okay, uh, give me one second. I got to put my mic down to go get the red. Oh, I should have had Scott do it when he was there. I forgot. All right, give me just one second. I'll be right back. Okay, hey, look at that, everybody. I remembered to put my, uh, um, why is that shutting off? Auto power saving off, don't do this again. Why, what's going on? It can, oh, I don't know. For some reason, my dang Xbox went off. Whatever that's about. I don't know, I gotta get in there and check out the power settings and stuff. Okay, I got this little guy. I don't use them all that often, but they're nice just for a drop or two of paint. I don't have to uh, fill up a whole entire bottle. So we're just going to put a drop or two of this red in there. And then, uh, oh, let's see, let's this way. And then I don't have to mix up a whole bottle. Let's not set that there. Let's put it over here on our table. And nice, Bones. We didn't clean out a 
uh, airbrush for this. Let's do let's do the brown. Where's the brown at? Okay. Do believe I got it and I'm ready. And it's not spraying. What the heck? Um, did I not put enough in there? <laughs> okay, we'll put more in there then. What the hell? We can always pour it back in the bottle, so. Okay, we'll put a little more in there. I guess that's what's wrong. I hear air. Okay, well, it's spraying now, so I think we got it. All right. Let's do our, uh, let's see, let's go back to um, this camera, bring that, bring that over here so you guys can see the mouth. Boy, it is sure not spraying very well. Don't really want to dump it on there, Heavy. There we go. Wanted to kind of feather it in there into the back of the throat. Uh, or the roof of the mouth, whatever you want to call it. Okay, let's bring this down here for the shoes. For the shoes. Okay, I think just enough red to kind of, to kind of throw it off, <laughs> set it off, I guess you, uh, whatever, here, let's put this on our table too, so we don't knock it over, and we'll wash out the airbrush, okay, uh, I can't think of anything else that we kind of need to do, so, Oh, you know what? We should probably shadow up our shoes. Our shoes are a little too um, just plain. I think we need to actually put a little bit of shadow in there. They're kind of in the dark spot a little, so we should make it look like that a little bit. Uh, let's see, right on this side there and this side there. Okay, that ought to be good. now. Just for shits and giggles, let's put a little highlight in there. Okay, excellent. Well, let me go ahead and sign it. And, uh, We'll call it done. Guess what it is? It's Starfield time. <laughs> uh, you know, I wonder if I should sign that with white. It'll probably wash out, but hell, who knows? Wash this and the whole damn thing come out, just like my prints. I, may, I found some place that I could make digital prints, and now I'm having problems with them. The light is fading them. So, yeah, I'm not too happy about that. Uh, 
All right, let's try to highlight it up a little bit. And I guess we ought to put a year on there. I've been very lazy about doing that, and it's nice 30 years later to go see a year on it. So we're going to put, uh, we're going to do, what should we do? We're just going to do 23. Let's just do 23. We'll just do 23. All right, nice. Okay, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Pull this one back a little bit. Maybe we'll pull it back. Get a little bit of a side view. I wish we should have it set up where we can have both cams showing at the same time. Okay, there we go. And cover up my airbrushes. Well, uh, you know, Beach Bum, thank you very much. I appreciate you guys. You know, um, I need to get, I, I used to consider myself, now this was a while back, uh, probably one of the top 10 airbrushers in the United States. Um, I haven't done it much over the last 10 years or so. Uh, not burn out on it, but burn out on people on it. Uh, but I do miss airbrushing. I do like to do it once in a while. I do enjoy making a nice piece of artwork. Um, I'm looking forward to doing a lot more because instead of me doing stuff for people like I've done most of my life, I'm going to be doing stuff that I want to do, things I want to paint. Uh, creating my own artwork, you know. Uh, I don't get me wrong; I have created a lot of my own artwork over the years. But it was it was like from something else somebody else did, and I just put my stuff in it. So um, when I say do my own artwork, I'm talking about creating my own stuff, you know, uh, from the get go. Anyways. Uh, you guys have seen a little bit of that on Discord, and of course, as more goes on, we'll po we'll post more on there. Uh, thank you, Easy. Uh, you know, you guys are all way too kind uh, about all that. I really do appreciate it. Um, yeah, thank you. I do appreciate it. it makes me very humble. Uh, though, uh, but you know what? <laughs> I do want to say this. I've had a lot of people go, oh, it's a God-given talent. Um, yeah, God had nothing to do with this. I worked my ass off for every bit of everything I know. So <laughs> now I'm not saying that, you know, anything about anything. I'm just saying, yeah, I didn't wake up one day and go, oh, yeah, look at this. I can fucking paint. No, it took a lot of years because I didn't, I didn't know anything. You know, I didn't know anything about art, didn't know anything about color, didn't know, I didn't know anything. I had to learn it. Uh, I didn't go to school. I didn't, you know, uh, and it's too bad because I could have really, I mean, I was already uh, progressing ge uh, geometric already, but man, if I had had some structure behind me, I would have really been kicking ass. But one thing about my artwork is that, uh, or my airbrushing, is it doesn't look like typical airbrusher work. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys and gals have seen other airbrush work, other airbrush stuff. And mine just, I mean, it's airbrush, but it just doesn't look like that. It has a, it has my touch, my look to it. So I'm, I'm pretty happy that I did everything I did because I have my own style. And I think that's what separates people from, you know, uh, from, that's what separates people when they're doing artwork is their, their own style, their own unique way of thinking and doing stuff. So let's do this. Enough of that. Let's move this here. Let's do this here. Hi, guys. Oh, shit, I better, I better get into the camera here. Uh, oh, check out that piece of artwork. You can't see it very good. It's actually a... Uh, 
uh, elk. And the year I did that one is 95. It says 95 on it. So painted that one quite a long time ago. Uh, <clears throat> I painted it for my mom. I'm borrowing it right now. Uh, so, yeah, she's like, you can't have this. I mean, when I die, you can have it. But right now, you can't have this. You, I'm like, I just want to borrow it, Mom. Just relax. Let me borrow it. So, uh, anyways. Hi, guys. How are you today? Thank you all for coming and hanging out with me. It's immensely pleasurable to me. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I think we're going to stream some, um, some uh, Starfield here. I'm going to wrap this up quick because it's been quite a... I, I, didn't exp I, I thought I could knock this out in two hours. And I probably could have if I wasn't doing everything. But um, it's getting quite late now. The video's quite long. I want to eat so we can play some Starfield. And uh, I think we'll start that up right at about 7. Uh, so what would that be? That'd be 3. Well, if we go to 11, that'd be 4 hours. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, let me do this. Um, we, oh, okay, let me do that. <laughs> let me knock shit over. Hold on a second. Uh, I, I, w I promised everybody that I would... Uh, do a, a straight on shot of the um of the deal so i'll tell you what let me do this let me put this uh let me put this one on so while i'm fixing this other one oh look at that that's actually showing the the colors are really nice right there it's actually showing showing how bright the colors are actually uh, let me move this other camera around a little bit, and maybe I can we can get a straight-on shot here of it. Ah, okay. All right. Let's see if we're doing anything there. There we go. Everybody's been watching it from an angle, so now we get to see it straight on. And make it quit wiggling. Quit wiggling. <laughs> All right, so we'll just leave it on there for a minute or two, or not a minute or two, but for a few seconds. And then, uh, yeah, nice. It actually does look really good. Um, as nice as it looks on the camera, it does look uh, not really super nice on the shirt. It really does. Uh, it would make a great tattoo, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, so that you guys know, it isn't my piece of artwork. Uh, I did find this on the internet. And uh, my buddy plays bass, my roommate. Here, I'll hold it up here like this, and then you guys can see, see kind of how it goes there. So, but anyways, I, I it's not my piece of artwork. Um, but he plays bass. He loves anime. I saw it. I was like, okay, I'll, I'll, this is what we'll paint for him on his shirt. And um, he, I hope he appreciates it. <laughs> I'm sure he will. Because he, he keeps hinting to me, you know, uh, if I was to have something, I would have uh, probably that Indian picture, you know, that Indian girl I got. You know, if I was to ever have one, I would probably, you know, really like that Indian. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> So I know I'm getting hints for it, uh, but right now I'm having problems with the prints. So until I can figure that mess out where, oh, you know what? There is one thing that we still didn't do. Um, my fat ass head will probably be in the way, but I'm just noticing it. And before we end, let's, let's fix it. Okay, right here in the, uh, the ponytail hell holder we got to put some red there and uh there now that's better oh man i tell you what I, there's been so many times that i've done stuff that i was looking at it later and it's like oh man oh man i didn't do that oh i forgot to do that oh look this you know so 
Uh, that's what's nice about doing your own artwork. You can really, you know, spend the time and put the effort into it and uh, just really create something super nice. Uh, not saying I didn't want to do that for people who were hiring me to do that, but... Uh, okay, why is my TV still off and everything? Or am I even still connected to... No, I'm not even connected to uh, YouTube anymore. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys. Thank you all. Give me 30 minutes to choke down something, and uh, we will uh, be on playing some Starfield. I'm excited. I won't. There, I mean, there's a ton of stuff I want to do. So, uh, yeah, we'll get on and we'll play. So, thank you guys all. Take care. Stay safe. And I'll see you all in 30 minutes. Peace.